So today I'm back with another audio product review, microphone review, and by no means am I an expert in audio stuff, but today we're taking a look here at this. This is the the Kimafun, Kimafun, I think is how you say it. It's the um, dual mic G102-5. So what this kit comes with is, is basically a transmitter or two transmitters and a receiver so you can have dual microphone systems. It comes with pretty much everything. We'll open it up and take a look at it. But before we do that, let's let you know, full disclosure, the company Kimafun reached out to me and asked me to do this review. They sent me this microphone for review at no cost to me. However, they don't get to see this review before I publish it. They have no say on what I say in the review. And as always, I never use affiliate links. So the links below that can take you to purchase this, I will make no money if you do or do not click on them. Let's go ahead and open this up and, and see what it's got inside. Take a look from there. One more thing, before we start the unboxing, since I don't use affiliate links and I don't have any paid sponsorships, the only way that you can support the channel is by hitting the subscribe button down below and maybe even giving this video a thumbs up if you like it. Anyways, let's get on with the unboxing. Okay, already I kind of like this, that it comes with this nice little, this little case here. So I'm not gonna go through a whole unboxing here. We'll just go ahead and skip to where it's open. Okay, fast forward here a little bit. I've got some of this stuff out because you had to charge them up. I realized it as I was opening it, but interesting um, form factor, I guess is what I would say. Just an interesting form factor on these things. They're a little different than, than anything else I've ever seen. These are um, your transmitters and this is your receiver here that goes on the camera. So this is a charger. I had to charge them up. So you've got this USB with a three little, uh, I can't remember what these are called, like a kind of USB, I guess, but whatever. You plug it in, each of them. They charge up pretty quick. That's the main thing, they charge pretty quick. Just wanted to say before I go a little further as I was unboxing this stuff, the packaging. Like, you know, considering this is like a made in China thing, all these things like are branded packages. It's little touches like this, but they, you know, this, this company is clearly trying to, you know, give you a bit of an unboxing experience. So it's pretty cool. So it also comes with, Oh boy, look at look at this. Two of these um, like go on your head. I'll definitely, when we get back to the testing, I'm definitely gonna give you a try with this. I can be like an aerobics instructor. I got two of these. All right, and then we have, it looks like one, two lavalier mics. Yeah, these are kind of gigantic, these lav mics. They're at least these wind muffs are pretty big, but look, they have like just the packaging is very well done. Like these little covers here. That's nice. And then I believe it's a locking. Yeah, it's a, they've got the locking, uh, you connect here. You can screw them down. So you're not going to have anything disconnect. So that's a feature that's not normally included in uh, lesser expensive, uh, lav mics like this. So that's a nice feature to see now. Whether or not these mics sound good, that's that's what we have to determine, but we're gonna check that out in a second. So you've got one, two lavalier mics. There's the second one right here. And we've got, let's look at the instruction book. Look at this. Now that's pretty interesting. Most of these, uh, these types of products you buy on Amazon like this, that they don't come with a full color instruction book. It looks like it's written in proper English, like just, just nicely done. This is a nice, nice job packaging with this. They give you four extra uh, microphone covers and it looks like a little, uh, you can move up to a half inch there. I think that's what that is. A little adapter to go to the bigger plug. All right, these must be the clips for the transmitters. This way, or does it doesn't matter. They look the same. All right, yeah, that snaps in there. It doesn't turn. So there you go. And you've got some sort of way to clip this on your belt. Oh, so we've got the the TRRS. So let's see here. You got two different types of plugs here. You got the one with the the tip, and then RR ring ring, and then you got the tip RRR. So the TRRS and TRRS. The three ring ones are what you need for mobile devices, and this one is labeled here that it's for a phone. So you could hook. You use this and then you could plug two. Oh, actually, no. You use this, then I guess you can plug your transmitter here. 
I'm sorry, your receiver. So this would go into your phone. This is here. And this one, it's got the little headphone logo on it. So you'd have a headphone jack to monitor with. So pretty nice, you know, a lot of features in this. A lot of features, I'm impressed. What do we got here? All right, so this looks like, okay. So this is, if you want to hook to your computer, this is actually a nice little item to have either way. So this is a USB and it gives you a microphone and a head headphone jack on your computer. So if you've got a computer that just has USB or, or you have like a USB hub and that's not bad. That's nice. So then you could run your microphones directly into uh, your computer or wirelessly. I'm assuming you could plug in here and you take this guy with the microphone and you can be away from your laptop or whatever to make your recording. So, okay. One other thing. So the form factor is the one thing that's gotten me a little odd. So let me use my, here, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. We're a little, we're a little crowded here on the, on this desk. So let's move this stuff out of the way. Move this right here. Okay. So, this is your receiver that goes on your camera, and this is the A7S III. So if I wanted to use this with the A7S III, I open the microphone port right here on the side, and we plug this bad boy right in there. So my only thing is this is kind of big. And then if we, let's go ahead and take the screen so there you go. That, that, that's what you're going to get if you're going to use this on, on a camera like this. This form factor, initially, my initial impression, I'm not a big fan of this. This is a little big. I feel like if they could have come up with a way to do this, maybe a little different. But you know what? Let's give it a try and see how it sounds before we make any judgment, right? Nice little kit here. You do get a lot for the money on this. I've, I've got to say, for this, for this price, this is a... Uh, I mean, you get all everything you need. You don't really need anything else. So essentially you have four microphones, two transmitters, a receiver, and all the accessories you need to kind of make this stuff work. The real test, how does this stuff sound? So let's go ahead and check that out now. Okay, so here we are outside. We're gonna do a little bit of a, a test with these Kimafun microphones. Again, I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the form factor. It blocks a little bit of the screen, like where I can see my battery level. The uh, A7S III, but this is what you get. I'm just sort of doing like a vlogging style test, walking around. I, I didn't make any attempt to hide the microphone because quite honestly, it's a big microphone. It's not something that uh, is very conducive to hiding anyways. So here we are, the Sony A7S III. It's kind of windy. I've got wind in my face here. And this is what I get, just holding the camera at arm's distance. Now I know you may be asking, why would you want to have a lav mic that's wireless when you're having the camera this close to you? Well. There's a few reasons. One, I like the fact that I can now turn the camera around like this, you know, film whatever I want to film this way. This, this is what you get uh, just sort of walking around out here um, with this. Now, let's, let's go ahead and do a quick range test and, and see how it sounds. Here we are on a tripod. Let's go ahead and walk away. I'm currently six, seven feet away from the camera right now. So let's, let's see how far we can go. I'm going to turn my back and walk away. And there's still a lot of wind out here and just hopefully we'll see uh, what this microphone system can do. I don't really feel like it's necessary to have a much further range test than this. In all practicality, are you ever gonna be any further away from your camera than I am now? I feel like this is pretty far away. Don't even know if you can still see me. I'm a solid 100 feet away from the camera and you know, we'll start walking back toward the camera. For me, this, this I think was a, an adequate test of this. And I'm excited to go inside and, and listen to how the lavalier mic sounds and to see how the range test works. So let's go inside and check it out now. Okay, so for another test here, we're going to go ahead and use the same microphone and we're doing it inside this time. So I've got the transmitter. Well, this is the transmitter, I'm sorry. I've got the receiver set directly into my A7S III and this is my transmitter here. Interesting thing was I reviewed the outdoor footage and noticed that it seemed to be somewhat like handling noise. So if I was talking into the mic more directly like this, I think we get better levels. Let me see, I can't really see my levels. Yeah, it seems to be a little better. It seems to be if I turn the mic at all like this, like I had it on my shirt, it doesn't do as well. So I would think you're gonna be better off having the mic mounted this way. It seems a little bit more directional. At least that's what I'm noticing from just reviewing the outdoor footage. But 
I'm interested to see how this footage comes out and how the audio sounds here. Um, one more test. I think we need to go ahead and test the headset because come on, that's the way to go. Okay, so here we are now testing this headset. This is not something that I would typically use. I have a feeling with this particular microphone kit, this might be a better solution because after listening to the audio in the, the lav mic, it seems to have to be pointed directly at your mouth and I feel like the closer I got it to my mouth and when I held it out in front or versus when I was outside and just had it clipped on my shirt and the wind noise and the rustling, I feel like you're gonna have less rustling here because this is just suspended right in front of your mouth. I feel like this is probably gonna sound better than what we had with the uh, indoor lab and the outdoor lab mic test, unless you can turn that microphone and have it facing upward where, you know, if you're wearing the right kind of clothing, that would work. But if you're wearing a t-shirt or something like this, that may not work for you. So just, just things to consider. I feel like you're probably gonna have better audio here. I also noticed when using this microphone, I had to uh, make adjustments here. So just to go with an overview here, you've got the on and off switch here on your transmitter, and you just got a plus and minus for your volume adjustments, which adjust the uh, the gain level here of this microphone that outputs to the receiver. So for me, I had to bring this down a little bit, and I had to bring the levels down pretty significantly in my A7S III. So just to give you an idea, the sensitivity, I think the proximity to your mouth, this is probably going to work a little bit better. This sort of thing, if you're a fitness instructor, if you're doing you know, live fitness instruction, if you're doing any sort of live streaming and you need to be hands-free, this would work well because it comes with that half-inch uh, little adapter that you could hook to the receiver and go right into a PA system. Also, if you're recording anything, a cooking demonstration, anything that you need to be hands-free, this, this microphone is a viable alternative. It's a little big. I know a lot of companies out there make the, the sort of the flesh colored ones with a much smaller microphone, but keep in mind, those systems cost significantly more than this. So you have to sort of balance that. How important is it to you or how much does your budget allow for you to spend versus the quality you know that you're gonna get out of this, which I have to say, when I moved the microphone out in front of me when I was using the other lav mic, the quality was, was more than acceptable. And I assume probably because the proximity of this mic to my mouth, it's going to be good quality here as well. So I'm excited to get it into the editor and, and take a listen and see what we have. So let's do that. Then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts on this whole kit. And if I think it's really worth the money, the Chemafun, Chemafun, not really sure if I'm saying it right. Sort of dual microphone system. It comes with a lot of good stuff. Do I think it's worth it? Well, it depends on what your budget is. This thing comes in for just under $100. So at that price point, you get an awful lot for your money. You get two headset microphones, two lavalier microphones, two transmitters, a receiver. You get the adapters to be able to hook the receiver up to a professional audio system or PA system. You get the ability to hook the receiver up to your laptop or any other USB device. There's a lot of parts and I mean, it kind of comes with everything. So I think for that price point, last I looked on Amazon, it was around $89 for this thing. I think it's a pretty good value. The audio quality is acceptable. It's not as good as some of the higher end units that cost three times as much, but it is acceptable quality. And let's be honest, when we're starting out either with a YouTube channel or just getting into some sort of live streaming or broadcasting, you know, budget is always a concern. And this microphone system, I think would get you started and, and probably carry you on for quite a while. Perhaps an upgrade in the actual microphones themselves if they were a little bit more omnidirectional and just a little less handling noise would be better. I think this is a, a pretty good value for what you get here. You could have two people on stage, two people talking at the same time. Is it worth the $89? I'd say yes. I think you get a lot. You get a nice case. You get a lot of accessories. I think it's worth it. It's just a matter of is it worth it to you and does it fit in with your workflow? I can't answer that question for you. You're going to have to answer that one for yourself. But as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.